What's up guys, Sal Toro Cards here. Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. And in today's video, we're gonna be showing you my pickups that we picked up at the London Card Show. So what cards did we bought? What cards have we traded? What cards did we pick up from submission from the grading club? And all sorts of that. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the first card that we did get, essentially I didn't pay for, so it was a bit of a gift from LGL Break. So really, really good friend of mine, uh, known for a long time, gifted me this card. Uh, went up to me, uh, Jason, I've got a card for you. It's nothing big, but here you go. And I, I didn't expect this. It's such a beautiful card. Obviously Treble being Treble, probably the greatest set of all time. If you haven't watched that video, it's literally the last video. Make sure you go check it out. Just you know, asking you know some of the biggest names in the UK hobby, uh, in the scene, uh, hobby scene, uh, what their favourite set of all time is and why. Um, obviously, if you know, Treble is my favourite set of all time, and yeah, to get her out of forty nine, you know, as a gift, it's amazing. Obviously, Munir is not the greatest of players, but it's such a nice set, and uh, yeah, we'll be. I'll probably say we'll be picking up more Treble. Obviously, Ramos as well. Next card that we did get was at trade night, and unfortunately I did buy it, I didn't trade it, uh, which is obviously a bit annoying, and it was this card here. So Fernando Alonso, 2022 to 2023, tops chrome, out of 25. So 24 or 25, really nice, low, low numbered card. Obviously, I PC anything Spanish, and obviously me watching Formula 1 when I was a bit more younger, I don't really, I watch it a bit now, but not as much as I should, but, you know, Fernando Alonso used to be my favourite driver. And um, I thought, you know, it'll be really, really good deal that I think the guy gave. I think it was £20. I think it was a really good deal. Obviously, Alonso being in form at the moment, doing amazing for Aston Martin. So, a really, really nice card. Got this for £25. And uh, 20 I think, I think it was £25 or £25, near enough for that. But uh, 25 25 20, 25 uh, But, yeah, really, really nice card. Might be sending this off to grading. I admit there is a little scratch there, which is a bit unfortunate, but if they miss it out, it could possibly be 10. So, yeah, nice card that we got at trade night. Next card that we did get was, you know, you've seen on the vlog, um, some of the footage was this card here. So this is David Villa out of 10. So very, very low numbered, 5 out of 10. Um, obviously, River Patch, Match Worn, which makes it even better. Um, to be honest, I don't know where this kit's from, like the patch. So you obviously got, you know, Atletico Madrid, Barcelona, you got Valencia, you got Spain. I don't think it'll be Spain. Uh, you've got um, New York City, uh, New York City, isn't it? Uh, obviously the Manchester team in, Manchester City team in uh, America. But yeah, really, really nice card. Picked up £50, uh, for, obviously from Maximilian Cards, if you don't know him. Big, big collector. If you saw his table on the video, it was stacked to the brink of just low-numbered autos, eminence, flawless, low, low-numbered autos again, as I said. But really nice car. Got this for 50 quid. He didn't really want to move on that. I think, you know, to be honest, it was such a good deal anyway. I think I should have just took it 50, which I did in the end. Um, but, yeah, really, really nice car to add to the collection. And funny enough, in the video, I did say I wanted to get... Davia, and <laughs> you know I did. Next card that we did get was I did get it before the show, but picked it up at the show. So this is from AJ Cards. I think it's AJ Cards or AJ underscore Cards. He's a watcher of the channel, so hopefully he's been watching this. Um, one of the most genuine people in the hobby. Uh, speak to him a lot of times. Obviously West Ham fan like me, and he put this up on his story and said, you know, um, I think I messaged him saying. I like this, would you do three or five pound? I can't remember how much it was. And he said, yep, we'll do that for you. And I said, I'll just pick up the card, it makes it easier. Saves on postage. So I got this for, I think three to five pounds off of him. Uh, obviously met him as well. Really, really nice guy. I'll put his uh, Instagram here and I'll put it down in the description. Really, really nice guy. And uh, yeah, I think, he I think he used to do breaks. If he does, make sure you go check his breaks out as well. But yeah, this is Sergio Ramos top scrum. 2009 to, uh, 2021 to 2022 out of 99 which i do do need so yeah the only two stickers i picked up on the sunday were these so we got a brian robson for three pound got out welling collectibles if you don't know them oh it's such a it's such a good uh vending uh vending stall obviously just vintage cards vintage stickers slabs everything that you want but mostly of uh more the vintage side of it every show i go to that they're there 
I'll always be at that table. Search for a- absolute bargains. But yeah, first one we got was a Brian Robson um, from Manchester United. The only reason why I got this is just because of the design. Don't like, really know Brian Robson as much. Uh, don't really support Man United, but I thought it was just such a nice sticker. Next one is probably your favourite one. It's my favourite one, actually, to be honest. Uh, it's an Adriano sticker, I believe, from his last year, obviously from the Brazil set, and I think this is from Casemiro's uh, rookie year. So that's quite cool. I did see there's none that's been graded uh, in the whole of um, SGC or PSA, so I might send this off to SGC if... Uh, if oh, I might as I might as well just let me know in the comments if you you know if you want to see that uh, this Adriano sticker I think I believe it says last year and I think it was Maximilian Carr said to me he probably is a is a his prison photo which I thought was quite funny so nice little pickups there next one that we did make was probably the biggest purchase I've ever made at London Card Show and there's one card missing it is a Benzema treble out of 75 which obviously you saw that uh, it got sent to PSA so that obviously I don't have in hand but it's these four five, well five cards so this one is a Sergio Ramos treble out of 25 obviously gold picked this well I bought this before the show and picked it up at the show uh, from Sickball FC I'll put his icon here somewhere his collection is just what is one in a million? It's it's amazing. He's got the Ramos one of one treble, which I would love to get my hands on, but I he probably I don't think he would ever sell, which is obviously understandable. It's such a nice card. He's got treble at twenty five Messi, which I just think is you know it's crazy. It's you know it's a three four five grand card. Um, so yeah, got this off of him. Obviously, I'm trying to complete the rainbow. Obviously, minus the one of one. All I need is the base and out of 10. So if you do have that out of 10, message me on El Toro Cards. Be very much appreciated. Uh, and then, yeah, we picked up these. So we've got the PK treble out of 75. Got the Sergio Busquets treble out of 75. Got the Isco out of 49. And then we've got a Nico Williams XR rookie out of 99, which I thought was quite cool. Um, I had to pick this up for the price he obviously offered me. Really, really nice card. Obviously, very underrated. Hopefully, he does get his move in the summer. But um, one thing I, what one thing that tends to happen with Atletico Bilbao players is they either move or they just stay. Like they just stay there for their whole career. Like Inaki Williams, he could have moved to an English prim, uh, um, a Premier League team easily. I think he's a very good player, but he'll never move. And a lot of people they like to stay loyal to their team. So hopefully. Nico Williams can go to a better team, maybe just in the league or hopefully in the Premier League and uh, get that big money moving and hopefully can perform. So we've got that. Next one is another one you probably saw in the video. It was like a little bundle that RP Trading Cards did uh, supply me with. Uh, obviously, I did pay for it. I did say in the video I did get it for free. I did not. Um, but yeah, so it was this set right here. So we got the... Tops Japan at uh, 2021 to 2022. Um, Tops Chrome Aoki and the out. So this is the out of 25 orange. We got the same, obviously the same set, but the out of 199, I believe. Yeah. We got the Chewbacca Tops Finest, I believe, at 150. I do collect Star Wars cards. I really do enjoy them. I need to pick more of them up. I don't really uh, obviously show on the channel, but I will do in future if obviously if you're interested in that. Next one we did get is a Merlin out of 150 Speckle from the 2021-2022 set. So Geramos. And probably one of my most favourite uh, ones is this one here. So the top's now out of 500 London card show card. Really, I thought it was quite cool. I didn't really get to pick it up at the show when they did release it. Uh, did, to be honest, I didn't really know about it. And then RP Training Cards, Ronnie did have two on him. So I said, let me have one. So he did do that, indeed. Next one we did get was a, you know another card that you did see in the video. It was the Sergio Ramos Tops Chrome. Just not the uh, Yoki set, the Japan set. Just the normal Tops Chrome. And this is out of 199. So I've got the Japan uh, one out of 199. And now I've got the normal, normal um, set out of 199. So that's quite cool to get that. Next one we did get is quite a cool story. I went up to Sick Bull FC, uh, talked to him about Ramos, obviously. I did make a purchase before the show and picked up the Ramos and bought, obviously, more cards off of him. And a guy next to me said, what, do you uh, PC Ramos? So, just... so what's up, guys? Just um, Alex over here. 
just oh, literally yeah. just met him five seconds ago and he's just gifted this Sergio Ramos at 299 press room. So yeah. Thank you, mate. Thank you, mate. I said, yeah, yeah, you know, a PC here, blah, blah, blah. I just uh, spoke about it. He, he went, five seconds, he comes back saying, look, I've just looked through my collection and this card, I think you would m appreciate more than me and show me this card. So it, it's a Ramos out of 299, which, to be honest, I couldn't believe. I was like, wow, you know, you don't need to give me this. Are you sure, like, you know, just make sure. Um, I didn't know if he was joking or not. Um, but yeah, really, really nice person uh i'll put his um uh, instagram up here it's i think it's called bronco balling bronco cards i think he collects griezmann's uh for his pc so hit him up honestly such a nice guy and it shows you there are genuine people in the hobby so a really really nice card that he did give to me next one that we did get was in a trade with rp training cards uh, i think it was for a mid amima out of 99 from the merlin set and a as a out of 25 from the revolutions which honestly i got it i think i got it for like two pounds so i was like ronnie have this and have that and he was like do you want this card so i thought i thought why not um and i think that at the time of recording this video i've actually sold this card so uh sorry for my voice as well i'm, I'm quite ill if it, you know i don't know if you could tell but um yeah so sold this card on ebay but yeah picked this up at the london card show with a trade with uh, rp training cards ronnie and the last card or well, slab that we did get at the London Card Show is this card here. Let me just get it. There you go. Such a beautiful card. Such a beautiful card. Uh, obviously, oh, yeah. Paco Hento, obviously from the 1962 Mirror Modali de Calcio. I believe this is a World Cup set as well. Um, obviously, this Paco Hento is pot one. So it's only one of the world graded. And this is obviously the highest grade. Really, really nice to have this in my collection and can't wait to find more Hentos. Hopefully, I'm going to try to pick up more of these. Obviously, they're really rare to find. So, hopefully, I can find more of them. And I just want to say thank you to Aaron at the Grain Club for obviously doing the middleman service and collecting the card and obviously giving that the London Card Show. But, yeah, that's that's it for the video, guys. Just want to say a massive thank you for all the support that I've been getting recently, all the likes, the comments, uh, just even the DMs you guys have been giving me saying, you know, you really enjoyed the London Card Show vlog and all the other videos. Um, yeah, it's, it's just been amazing. I think before the London Card Show, I think it was at 49 subscribers, and now recording of this video, I think I'm on 71. So... It's, it's, cra it's, it's crazy, I still can't believe it, but uh, yeah, stay tuned guys, I think I'm going to be doing, I think, uh, yeah, at 100 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a little giveaway, so stay tuned for that, and uh, keep an eye on my Instagram, El Toro Cards, and uh, yeah, thank you for watching the video, and see ya.